All right, everyone, so the hackathon is officially over. I'm gonna go ahead and announce the top winners of all the categories that are listed out here. And maybe in the future, I'll make another video to go through all the other submissions and just talk about the things that I liked about them. There are a lot of good submissions. Um, so if you don't win, don't feel too bad because there was a lot of close calls and I just ended up picking the ones that I thought were a little bit better than the other ones. So if you go to the submissions page, I ordered all of the submissions by their peer votes. So let's just talk about the winners. So I made a special judge page where I went through and I kind of reviewed all the videos. I watched them. I judged them on how creative the AI was, how collaborative and interactive the game was or the, the other category was. Um, and then I also judged you on how polished it was, if you had toes popping up, if you had like a good styling, all the stuff kind of came into play. And then also just my personal preferences, did I like the project more than another project? All right, so for the AI category, first place for, I believe that was $500. Most creative use of AI. Let's go ahead and look at this project. So this one is really cool. This project basically allowed him to enter in a YouTube video ID and that would grab the transcript from the video it would break it down into different chunks and then in store that and embed that in the vector database so that later on you can kind of query your entire data set for when certain things happened in the video. All right, it's like a semantic search over the video. So if you upload a very long video, this is 47 minutes, you can quickly type in whatever you want and find where in the video they are talking about that subject. You can search in like chat bots and it'll tell you like what part of the video has the most relevant um, part of that. He also added the ability for the OpenAI to also auto tag videos. So if you upload a random URL, it'll look through and figure out what category this is in. Um, and it also keeps track of the videos that you've done in the past. And then on the main page, you have the ability to kind of ask your entire collection of all the videos, any question you want, and it'll give you information about that. So I personally thought this was a really cool um, project. I think other people thought it was cool too. It had like one of the highest peer review scores. So for second place, it's Soria Saruva. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but his app was also really creative. I liked it a lot. And again, when it comes down to like, why did he not get first, even though everyone else rated his higher, there's just something about this one I liked more, right? So my ratings are kind of subjective. Let's check this out. It's a really polished app. I like this one a lot. Basically, instead of you trying to solve coding problems by yourself, you actually tell the AI how to solve it. Okay, so he has a little bit of collaboration um, here where you can kind of join a room and compete. So the idea in this one is basically you get a prompt. You're trying to have AI solve this prompt. Um, and over on the right, this is where you can kind of instruct the AI to do various things. Like I think in this video, he tells it to increment a number. And then that'll basically take the current code. It'll change it based on your instructions and then it'll run that through tests. So yeah, I really like this project. I think it was a, pr a pretty good polished project. It was a good um, idea, very creative. So, so this one also had a leaderboard, which is pretty nice. And I think they worked on a team of two people on this one. So good submission. So finally we have third place, which is Mike Can. So the gist of his submission is you can talk into your microphone that runs through voice to text AI to basically take your voice, give you a transcript, and then he uses that transcript and pastes it to OpenAI to modify some code behind the scenes to change or edit this image, right? So behind the scenes, the code is just a bunch of SVGs. And you basically tell it to draw two yellow squares, and that is going to use your voice, translate it, take the code, modify it with OpenAI, and then show you the results. And you kind of just keep on building upon this just by using your voice. I thought this one was also a really, really cool idea. And the app looks pretty polished too. Like every time you click a button, it shows a loader. It has um, authentication set up. I think he also said that OpenAI is going to look at your previous list of commands so that it kind of has context of what's going on. Although I consider this the AI category, he did also add collaboration. So you can kind of do this with friends, um, which I thought was pretty cool as well. You can have two people on two different computers kind of commanding the AI to draw a picture. So very cool submission. I liked it a lot. All right, so moving on to the collaboration category. First place is Daria. So he submitted a game, which is really well polished. So basically it's like a, a top-down strategy-based game, turn-based game, which has a lobby up here. So basically someone can create a game and another person that'll show up on their, their screen, and they can join it, and then two people can actually start battling each other. There's also character selection, so I think there's like a necromancer and barbarian or something. I, I didn't see what the text was. Um, but basically, this is a really well-polished game. I mean, like, you have the ability to move characters, and some of these characters can actually generate more um, minions that you can control, and all this is like turn-based, all through convex. I thought this was a really cool application idea. I mean, it really hits on the collaboration. Um, two people playing with each other. 
He has different spells. He has a chat feature where you can actually talk with your opponent. And then finally, after you lose, you have a score screen. And then I think he also has like a leaderboard. He also added this cool feature, a replay mode. So after you finish a game, you can actually rewatch the entire thing using the game state that it's stored in the database and it just replays it for you. So this is not him playing. This is just a replay going on. So I thought that was pretty cool as well. Then of course you have your stats in your leaderboard. So I thought it's just a really good app, really well polished, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of cool features. And uh, I'm hoping to see this actually continually be worked on because I think it has a good start to a cool game. So second place is Anuj Sign. I don't know if I pronounced his name right. Made an app where basically you and your friend can plan a trip together. So you go and you make a trip and you kind of describe what the trip is. So for, for example, he's going to New York City. And when you go to New York City, you have the ability to both collaborate and draw on a map together. So you can put out different points of interest and kind of add notes about that marker. You can draw lines and say, hey, this is a cool place to walk. Um, on the left, it actually shows you the things that are close by and near to where you're trying to plan your trip. And then finally, the collaboration part, you can actually share this with a friend and you both can be modifying the same map. All right, so here's an example of them both collaborating on the same map. I'm, I wasn't really sure. The video had a lot of background music, so it's hard to hear what he's saying. But I think it's like you can kind of follow your friend who's doing stuff and like plan together. And as you draw stuff, it'll show up on your friend's screen. Overall, the app is like super well polished. Like this is something that I would probably see in production being used by people. Um, the idea is interesting. I don't know how much I would personally use the idea, but I think it's a really good demonstration of collaboration um, together with kind of planning out a trip. So that's why I decided to take that as second place. All right, really cool app idea. And then finally we have Dur Pins. If we go over here, he made a code names online application which has chat room. So basically someone can come in and create a room and then other people can join the room. He has a nice like room lobby selection screen. He has a nice lobby screen here so you can see like people are joining the red team and the blue team and then you can kind of assign different roles to the different people. So it's, it's just a lot of um, additional polish he added to this application. Um, he has nice little pop-ups that allow you to pick your word collections. So you can pick like English words or various other words. You can change how many cards you have to guess and then other people can kind of join in on the room. And then here's the actual game board. I think this is also a really well polished game board where Basically, players can take turns playing the game until the game finishes at the end. Cool game. I like the idea. It's it's a well-polished game. It's a good showcase of collaboration. You have multiple people in the same room playing together. All right, so those are the winners of the top three for AI and the top three for... All right, so let's move on to the peer review category. So some of the ones already won in the top main category, so I'm going to skip over them, which leads us to Muhammad here. So he, so he made a pretty cool idea where basically he used OpenAI to kind of run an AI mystery murder game, right? So like he has various 3D models for the various places you can go and kind of like look at the scene. And once you kind of got some information by talking to various people, like I think you can go and talk to the the medical examiner, you can ask her questions. And once you get enough information, you can go and actually go to the suspect. And you can say some things that kind of say that he is uh, guilty. He's got this cool thing up here, which basically makes the suspect from going to nervous to angry. And then finally you can win the game by just basically telling him that you have enough information on him. So it's a cool idea. I think there's a lot more work that could have been done on it in the um, the 3D model in the background. I don't think it's fully integrated with the AI. I think it's more of just a static model he found that you can rotate with your mouse. But overall, I think the idea was actually really cool and I would love to see this kind of like added on and see how this kind of evolves in the future. Finally, we have Felipe, which made a game. So this is a really well-polished game as well. It seems like he has a lot of different things in here. You can kind of go and explore various places um, you can fight goblins and you can fight monsters. You have an inventory where you can kind of like select items and use them. This is, he, he put a lot of effort into this game. I really like it. And then finally, I think he has the ability to collaborate with some others. So you can actually go and invite your friends to come play with you. But I think this submission was really cool and I would love to see how this evolves over time. I think he's going to keep working on this, he says in the Discord. So cool submission, a lot of cool work uh, put into this. Definitely like it. So that's probably why you also won in the peer review. All right, so now for the final category, the honorable mentions, okay? So even though some of these did not get high in the peer review, I watched through all these videos and some submissions are actually really cool. Um, let's see if I can find the one that I liked a lot. So one of the submissions I really liked was this Kevin Kin submission. It, I mean, it looks nice. Uh, maybe it's just because it's not dark mode. Basically, he made an app where you can talk to an AI with various other languages, right? So if you want to practice your Spanish, you can go through here and find a Spanish um, mode. 
And then everything you do with this AI is basically going to talk to you in Spanish. And I believe he also has levels here where you can change how advanced the language is. Um, I think that's what CEFR level stands for. But basically, if I'm trying to learn Spanish, I can come into his application. I can choose like the easiest level and then start talking to someone who's going to speak back to me in Spanish. And then he also provides at the bottom, you can actually talk into this and he runs it through a voice to text translation which is then passed into open ai and you have like a real conversation with ai using whatever language that you want you can also click on stuff to translate it from your that language to your native english language if you want to um, a lot of cool features i like this a lot it'd be really cool if he just you know added a little bit more extra features that like keep track of previous chat histories i think this is a really cool app and this was actually uh, it was very close to winning in the top categories all right, and my final honorable mention was Amos. So he made a submission which is basically allowing people to collaborate together with bidding on various items. Um, a lot of stuff on the screen is updating live and is interactive. So like he put a lot of work in here. It's a really well-polished app. Basically, you can upload auction items. You can have recent activity and chat over here on the left with those items. And as people kind of bid on your items, that will show up over here. You can accept or deny those bids. And as you accept and deny bids, the other people will get notifications and toasts to say that their bid was declined or their bid was accepted. He has history of like various bids that you've done, bid history. So to me, I really like this app. It was well polished. It has a lot of features, um, a lot of different screens and modals. And it has that collaborative nature to it where you can go and bid with other people on items and kind of chat with them. So I think this was a really cool submission and uh, he put a lot of good work into this one. So I want to end this with saying, even if you didn't win with your submission, your submissions were really cool. Um, for an example, this one used uh, AI to generate storybooks. I really like this submission and it actually was in my head. I was debating this one versus some other ones for the top three. Um, over here, Ali made a really cool um, collaborative to-do list where you can basically share a to-do list board with others and you guys can collaborate on it. Very cool. Caden had a really cool one where basically integrated with SoundCloud and made a nice collaborative game where you can play with your friends who kind of, uh, it, it's like a Jackbox games clone. I like that a lot. Um, anyway, if I have time, I'm going to go through all these, uh, every single one and just kind of demo what was submitted. Cause I do think there's a lot of cool stuff in here and I don't think it's fair to just talk about the best ones. I think it's fair to talk about like all the ones that are really awesome, um, and talk about the pros and the cons of their stuff. But other than that, I thank you all for participating in this hackathon. I hope you guys had a good time, and I will send out the awards shortly after this video soon um, to all the winners.